up in a uh, family where your mother was a rally car driver. Um, what was it like growing up uh, in a what's traditionally been a male dominated sport? Yeah, I think for me, uh, growing up, I was obviously involved in motorsport with both my parents competing, but I was my, my father was competing, uh, you know, essentially as a, uh, as a hobby. Uh, and it was my mum who was competing as a, you know, a paid factory co-driver. So it was her profession. That seemed normal to me and that seemed like what everyone's mums went and did on the weekends, which I since have you know, come to see that she's very unique, but as a role model for me as a young girl, um, that was completely what I thought was normal. Her biggest thing was always, she was very professional. She was there because she, she absolutely loved what she did and she just focused on doing a good job. Um, and she, she just really let, let that speak for herself. So I think for me, that's definitely instilled that, um, you know, love what you do, but then just, just focus at, at being the best you can at, at that job. Yeah, so I mean, and I'll be a little bit presumptuous here, but I don't think you've probably ever um, thought too much around gender equality because you've just got on and, and done things and, and competed. I mean, what, what do you see the biggest challenges in, uh, in achieving gender equality, not just in sport, but business uh, and more broadly in the community? So I think having that awareness and, and is one thing and then, you know, being able to create the, the culture and um, to, to yeah, encourage everything based on um, you know, the skill and the job you're doing. And I think for me, that's been the most important thing. It's always, it's always been about doing the job and um, male or female, you, you, you know, you have to do the job. And um, in motorsport, it's a stopwatch and the stopwatch doesn't have bias. So it's a very quick way to work out whether you're doing a good job or not. And um, even if you do, you know, when you first start out, I felt like I really had to prove myself and probably work, you know, a bit harder to, to do that. But, uh, you know, as soon as, if you can do the times, you can do the times. And um, at that point, no one can, can really argue with the hard facts like that. Yeah, I and mean, you've grown uh, female participation in, in motorsport, but uh, I guess more broadly across all codes, the growth of female sports. And uh, you have the incident with the AFL uh, W and Taylor Harris, and I guess all the uh, controversy that came from that infamous fo uh, photo. I mean, what are the challenges of uh, professional sport for females uh, that may be different to what uh, men ch uh, face? That, that photo, she's a phenomenal athlete, and the athleticism and the skill. And I think now it's such a great time for women in sport because we're we're watching the, the skills and the, the abilities and I think that you know, comparisons diminishing motorsports um, really good in that way because men and women are competing together. So um, you know, there has been times where you know, someone will joke to another driver and say, oh, you got beaten by a girl. And, um, and I think those, those times are definitely changing. Very well seen, Australia. Holly Taylor and Bill Hayes. For youngest uh, and first Australian Rally uh, car champion. Uh, do you hope to inspire other young females to get into the sport? For me, it was never about becoming the first female to do it. It was just personally me beating the other people, whether they be male or female. Um, it's funny um, when we won the, the championship and obviously, you know, it's a huge career achievement. It has been a goal of mine since I started competing. So personally for me, it was a massive um, achievement, something that still feels a bit surreal, I think. And yeah, I guess the flow on effect from that and, and encouraging other females into the sport has been something that I never really considered. That's been really eye-opening and, and really heartwarming for me to be able to see these, these young girls that just um, see that as something that they might want to pursue. Mm -hmm.